Well, if downtown Winnipeg's in your travels, you may have noticed their bright fluorescent green toques or baseball hats that the downtown community safety partnership folks wear. It is teams patrolling the downtown to help people who are in need of assistance, whether it's a safe walk home or helping connect people with the resources they need. The demand for the 24-7 nonprofit has skyrocketed since they first launched in 2020. For more, we have reached Matt Sanscartier, the Director of Operations and Intelligence for the Downtown Community Safety Partnership. Uh, first, I want to ask you, how does your organization help to make the downtown area more safe? Right. So our mission and our vision are is to help everyone downtown. And Everyone downtown includes people who uh, might be coming downtown to enjoy a hockey game, people who work downtown, people who live downtown, people who are passing through downtown that are there for any reason. And so we have, we take a multifaceted approach. Uh, our organization offers things like 24-7 uh, um, mobile patrol, both on foot and uh, in vans, as well as long-term case supports. Basically being that uh, vital first point of contact for, for folks. Again, anyone that, that needs help, whether it's directions, which bus should I take, or somebody who it needs more um, intense support by way of finding housing, uh, detox, uh, health services, and so on. And so we offer what we like to call call a, a continuum of care in terms of getting people where they need to be um, and sort of meeting them where they're at uh, to, to try to make sure that everyone feels comfortable and safe when in the downtown area. How has demand for your services changed since your launch? Yeah, um, so in 2020, when we started operations, a lot of it was, you know, us finding work out there and, and you know, certainly there is no shortage of it. Um, we've gone from being an organization in 2020 that has to basically make a lot of work for ourselves to in 2022, um, being an organization where that work is, is being provided to us from the community. So people who live down here call us more. Um, local groups, uh, churches, agencies, um, uh, so on and so forth. Anyone that wants to provide a wellness check for someone who may not feel comfortable calling, say, uh, emergency services, they're able to call us instead. And, and we have collaborated with a lot of groups uh, to give you sort of a, a brief metric, um, our inbound requests for service in the community have, have gone from about 500 during the 2021 calendar year to a little over 2,700 in 2022. So it's about a 430% jump. And again, that's really, it comes down to building those community relationships, um, collaborating with our partners, um, and, and just kind of making sure that people know that we're there to help and that they feel comfortable um, reaching out to us, regardless of who they are or what they need. That sort of leads me to my next question. Why is it important, I guess, to have another option aside from police or emergency services for someone who maybe just needs to be connected to resources? Yeah, so I think there's a few options, or sorry, there's, there's a few different ways to answer that. Um, our main goal in working with our partners at the Winnipeg Police Service, as well as the Winnipeg Fire Paramedic Service, is to make sure that um, basically dispatching the appropriate resource to this specific incident. So if someone, uh, someone who works downtown sees somebody um, sleeping on a sidewalk and it's really cold outside, um, they're able to call us uh, instead of 911. And, and basically what that means is um, we our, our goal is to reduce the strain on emergency services, to reduce the amount of time that police or paramedics, for example, are doing wellness checks so that they can get to the calls they need to get to save lives, to deal with uh, incidents involving violence and so on. So we're definitely not emergency services, but we do want to help alleviate that strain and, and to make sure that um, sort of 911 doesn't become the default service because they have a lot on their plate as well. And so we're here to kind of provide that proactive presence to try to, to kind of intervene in crises before they get to the point of crisis and, and to kind of offer folks that other option so that, um, you know, they, they, they don't, people might get nervous calling. Uh, they're like, maybe I shouldn't, you know, should I, should I not call the police for this? So you can always call us. And um, if we're not the right uh, agency to call, we'll definitely connect you with the agency that is right to call. All right. Matt Sanscartier with the Downtown Community Safety Partnership. Thank you for your time tonight. You're very welcome. Thank you.